Welcome to Music 100. Let's start by doing the alphabet song and see how you do. And really, I'm going to play and sing the alphabet and you sing along. Here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time won't you sing with me? Now if you didn't do it, go back, rewind it, and do it, because it's important for the lesson. But, you know, everybody goes, I know my alphabet, I can sing that, or at least say it, right? Can you do this? Z, Y, X, N, W, V. U, T, S, R, Q, P. K-J-I-H-G-F-E-D-C-B-A So maybe you don't know your alphabet um, as well as you as you think you do. And, and that's true throughout the entirety of this course. We're going to take things that are commonplace uh, and we're going to learn them backwards, forwards, inside out. And uh, not without a purpose, though. This all has to do with leading you to fluency in music and on the instrument. And the first assignment that you're going to have is where you go... A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and we're just going to sing that backwards now, like this. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Now, without looking at your handout, if you have your packet or you print it off the PDF, try that with me. We'll put a pause between. One, two, ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and backwards. G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Okay, so you'll learn to do that. There'll be some practice assignments with that, and then you'll actually make a video of yourself with me accompanying you singing that. Um, now, there's a reason for that, because the notes we use in music are actually A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you can't just know them forward. You've got to know them backwards and every other one and things like that as well, and so we're, we're slow rolling that in. But this is for today's big concept. Now, if you haven't printed out Music 100 Day 1, or if you don't have your packet and you're not looking at page one of the introductory section. Take a minute, pause the video, and go get that, and um, let's talk about this. Learning to sing the alphabet backwards, or play the ukulele, or do all of these things together is complicated, and has a lot of different things going on. When you're playing the ukulele, you have your left hand, your right hand, you're thinking about chords, you're thinking about lyrics, uh, you're singing and saying, and all these things have to be done in real time. So. The first concept we want to think about here is deconstruction or breaking things down into simpler pieces. And if you're looking on the, the handout, there's three things. One is to break things down into smaller or simpler chunks or bites. Next one is to slow things down. And then finally, the uh, last one would be to take abstract things and make them not abstract. I'm going to grab a thing here. Uh, if you think about deconstruction like this, you're a Pac-Man, and you have to eat this triangle, and it's too big for you. It's impossible, unless maybe you just went like this and went, I'll break this into, you know, piece one, piece two, piece three, and piece four. And those chunks will fit inside the mouth, and that's your learning, too. You probably don't have the ability to go from zero to an entire piece in one go, but if you learn how to correctly deconstruct and take things apart, then you can take them in bite-sized pieces. It will take a little longer, uh, but it's the proper way to do things. So um, let's talk about how to go about learning this uh, GFEDCBA in a separate video. But that much to begin with uh, is a good start. Uh, we'll come back to this concept again and again, breaking things down into simple pieces or smaller tasks. Slowing it down is another way to simplify it that, that merits its own reward or our own bullet point, and then changing things into abstract, um, or, sorry, from abstract information into non-abstract information. Check out the um, training video for backwards GFEDCBA, and we'll go there.